What's going on members of the Burger Empire? Brian here for Body by Burgers. And today I want to cover weight loss in general. Uh, basically, I'm going to give you guys five simple steps on how you can lose weight. Now these are the fi same five steps and principles that I used um, to lose my first 73 pounds uh, at the time. I gained a little bit back with the health issue, but um, I am emphasizing the fact that these are simple steps, right? We all know weight loss is not easy. I'm not saying that it is an easy thing to do because we all have some mental things, we all have some day-to-day -day things that may get in our way, but these are the five simplest steps that you can take in order to ensure yourself at least some success. And I promise you, this is going to be no bullshit. This is exactly what I did to lose the first 73 pounds and what I'm going to continue to do until I plateau off um, into like oblivion. But number one, and this one is the one that blows my mind the absolute most and still to this day, I don't understand how people don't understand. But number one, drink your water. It's just that simple. We are basically cucumbers with skin. Like... Our body is, I believe, the, the, right around that 90% mark of, of water. So drink water, and not just a little bit. Like, at work the other day, I, I forgot my own personal water bottle at home, so I brought, like, I went and bought, like, a giant 1.5 liter jug of water, and this guy that, that I work with comes up to me, and he's like, are you, are you really going to drink all of that? I was like, I'm going to drink all of that. And then another one, and then probably some more. And his mind was like blown because here's here's the simple fact. I'll give you guys the numbers right here. Males are supposed to have around 3.5 liters of water every single day, and then you add 500 milliliters of water for every half hour hour of exercise. So for myself, in general, I should be right around that four liter uh, of of water per mark every single day and that's why you'll see lots of people carry around a milk jug of water it's because you're supposed to be getting four liters a day and for women you're right around that three three and a half after exercise uh, so if you go to the four liters as well for women you're probably doing pretty good and that's not going to hurt you but the reason water is so so important especially when it comes to losing weight is that it really helps digest uh, all your foods that you're taking in so the biggest thing is, is if, you, if your body's not digesting the food, it's not absorbing the nutrients properly, it's not using those nutrients. So you, you need that aid in digestion, and then that way too, you don't get constipated, so you're not backed up, you know, and then you're not having excess weight sitting just in your colon area. Nobody wants that. Flush the system, drink the water, stay hydrated. That is step number one. Step number two is to create a calorie deficiency. Now, I know and I understand that this may not be possible every single day. And I'm not asking you guys to do it every single day. But count your calories and track your calories to make sure that on a weekly basis, you are under your calorie target or basically how, um, how many calories you should be taking in. So the biggest way to, to, to create this is one... Find out what your BMR is, your basic metabolic rate. So basically, how many calories your body needs to just basically live. Um, and then, the way I found that out for myself is I like I have these little slips right here from the, like my gym, right, my Tanita scale. And as you can see, the BMR right is basically eleven thousand two hundred and two kilojoules or two thousand six hundred and seventy seven calories. And that is basically what my body would need to maintain where it's at at complete rest. So if I eat essentially 2,700 calories every single day and then do some exercise, I am creating a calorie deficiency. Now, again, that's a lot easier said than done, but it's not hard to track it. Download an app to input your food. It takes like 30 seconds. Just download that app, input your food. I use MyFitnessPal for something like that. And right now, I'm actually doing less calories than what that, that sheet says because I'm basing it on how my body feels. If I eat that 2,800 calories or nearly that 2,800 calories every single day, I'd feel full to the point of being lethargic. And that, 
if I'm if I'm lethargic and I'm lazy, I'm not doing anything in in progress to that. So find out what your BMR is. Most um, I believe clinics will be able to tell that um, I just have the advantage that my gym has a, a scale that measures my body fat percent, tells me my basic metabolic rate, all that fun stuff. But the general rule is that you want to create about a 300 calorie uh, deficiency, um, you know, is what I've been told and what I've researched. You can get away with less depending on how aggressive you want to go with your weight loss. I mean, you can rec I recommend maybe just like a, 100 calories a day, 150 calories a day, just to start so that you're not overwhelming yourself and then slowly ramp up that calorie deficiency. But as long as you're creating a calorie deficiency, throughout the course of the week, you're going to have success, right? Now, the general rule is if you have 300 calories a day as a deficiency, your general rule, you'll burn about a pound um, and a half to two pounds per week of weight loss just with that calorie deficiency. So if you do the 150, you're going to see immediate results. You're going to be about 150 or uh, about a pound and a half of weight loss per week. But make sure you create that calorie deficiency. Number three, this one is simple. I put it as cardio, but you don't have to do cardio. I'm just saying move. Go out for a walk. Go up and down the stairs at your house. Just move around, do some gardening, lawn mowing, leaf raking, walk around the block. Like, you don't have to go for a jog. You don't have to run a marathon. You don't have to get on your bike and go uphill mountain biking. None of that. Just move. Make sure your body is in motion because as soon as your body's in motion, you're burning those calories. You're engaging things. Your Things are happening, and it doesn't have to be overly intense, like your high-intensity interval training. You don't have to take a spin class, although they are awesome. Don't mind taking a spin class, just go for it. But do something. Just make your body move. Number four, this is my favorite one. We all know that this is my favorite one, and that is weight training. Lifting them heavy ass weights. Now, why is lifting your heavy ass weights key to weight loss? Well, the simple fact of it is the more lean muscle mass you have, the higher your metabolism gets, the more calories your body burns at rest. It's incredible. So there's, there's really two actions and two functions to weight training that will actually allow you to lose weight. One, while you're doing the exercise, you actually are burning those calories doing the exercise, raising that heart rate, getting that heart rate up to burn those calories, doing the exercise. And then two, you actually burn calories in recovery when it comes to weight training. So it's pretty awesome that way. And, and not a lot of people know, realize that. Like, cardio will burn calories while you're doing it, and then a little bit post-workout uh, as you recover, but your recovery for cardio should be much quicker and much sooner than when you're actually doing um, your weight training. It takes a longer time for your muscles to actually recover than your cardiovascular system. So the more lean muscle mass that you build as well, the more that your body's going to require to maintain that muscle. So it is a lot easier and a lot better to actually do weight training in order to do weight loss. Now, the very final step, and this can be more of an advanced step if you, if you care to do so, uh, it's macro tracking and, and your macronutrients. I've covered this before, but it'll give you a quick overview just to make sure you all know what it is. So macro tracking, um, basically you're, you're tracking three things in life, and that is carbs, fats, and protein. And you're probably thinking, how the hell do I figure this out? Well, there's a website that you can go to, and I've used it often, because um, as I lose weight, of course, we got to adjust the calorie count and the macro counts and things like that. It's called IIFYM.com, so if it fits your macros.com. And I go there to track my macros, so my carbs fats and proteins and then it does give you a fiber number as well and that is a really important number because if you're having a higher protein intake uh, when it comes to dieting following your macros you might get a little plugged up so fiber will be key on that drink your water get your fiber um, and the reason that they um, have this and why macros are so important is that you're fueling the body for the output and the exercise that you're doing you're not just feeding it and, like, you can feed the body. Feeding the body is always good. 
but it's better to fuel the body, right? It's always much better to fuel the body. Once you figure that out, the big thing is to, to never go over on, on carbs. Like, I mean, carbs, they're definitely not the enemy. Your body needs carbs to function, but you can, like, I get that number from if it fits your macros, and then I adjust it a little bit as I see fit and as I see the results. So when I first got um, my numbers from that website, I ended up following it to a T, and it worked for a little bit, but I just wasn't happy with the results. So what I ended up doing was, like, I think I, I'm supposed to be taking 110 or 105 grams of carbs, somewhere around there. I took 20 grams of carbs off from that, and I added it into my protein, and I got really good results doing that. So you'll get those numbers, and they're a baseline number, and you can do some tweaks and adjustments within those numbers in order to make it work for you. So everybody, those are the five steps. To recap, we got water. Water's not move simply just move do your cardio walk around the block rake the leaves mow the lawn shovel the snow because i live in canada the other one is create a calorie deficiency do some weight training and track your macros those five simple steps will pretty much guarantee you some success now i'm again not saying weight loss is easy it is a difficult long tedious process and things won't happen overnight but if you do these five simple steps, I guarantee you guys you're going to get results. That is the video today, guys. If you like the video, make sure to like the video. If you want to put a comment in the comment section below, please tell me which step of the five that you found you the most useful. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I need some more members in this burger empire. And until next time, everybody, burger power.